Okay, so the question at hand is, do we have free will? It's a really important and easy question, but sadly, because I'm a Dumbo, I won't give a definite answer, but you will know which side, which side I'm in. First, to answer this question, we need to ask an easier question, that is, how do we make our decisions? For example, in this case, which box to choose? There are some factors to this, which are experiences, our feelings, and a little sprinkle of genetics. Although our feelings are kinda our genetics plus experiences, but yeah, let's not get into that. So I certainly can't control my feelings, experiences neither, and sadly not genetics. So where is the free will in this? So. Should I feel okay about my shitty decisions since I don't have any control over any of those factors? I would love that. But I'm also annoyed that not only my genetics have power over me, but they also affect my short ass, bold ass going hair. Kinda sad. Okay, whatever. Let's move on to an easier question to solve this one. If we had a button and whenever we press it, we just go back to the Big Bang and everything starts again and we wait a few billion years, certainly not too much, then would we be would we all be in the same position? If there is a slight or a big difference in any of those times, would that mean we have free will? And I don't care how many times we press, we can press as many times as we want. So if everything is deterministic then everything would be same and if everything is same then we certainly don't have free will so if there's a difference in any of those times then the universe is not deterministic and that leaves a room for free will so maybe we will see a time that you didn't fuck up your relationship so you fucked up your relationship with your own free will, or maybe universe free will. So determinism kind of kills the free will. So we will try to find an undeterministic thing, and from there, maybe we can show that we, we are non-deterministic, hence we have free will. Hopefully, we have free will. So, in other words, if we prove that physics is non-deterministic, then we have free will. Because physics creates electric stuff, which creates atomic stuff, which creates chemistry, which creates biology, and in this case, my smooth brain. Then basic, and which my smooth brain basically creates me. So physics essentially creates all of us, and even our decisions. And as far as our knowledge, there's a part of physics that is non-deterministic. In other words, even even that we know everything about the system, we can't guess the outcome. Yeah, you guessed it. It's of course quantum physics, where stuff acts like wave particles, even you. And you are certain that quantum particles act like higher dimension objects? But fuck it, let's try to understand it on a surface level. So basically, quantum particles have states, in other words, spin as this function in here and up and down are basically the states in other words spins where a and b are basically kind of the probabilities of finding the particle in that specific state to understand spin a guy took a bunch of electrons and sent them through a magnetic field and half of the electrons went up towards the magnetic field and half of them went down the opposite way so our guy said, oh, the electrons spin, which creates magnetic field, just like the current does, and acts like a magnet. So the guy makes the same experiment, but this time the, he changes the magnetic field uh, direction. So he, his hypothesis would be like them going straight, but he found out that electrons just went toward the magnetic field and half of them, and the other half went to the opposite way. So, they don't actually spin. 
So spin is just a state, electrons choosing to move towards the magnetic field or to the opposite magnetic field. We have no idea why and how electrons do this, but maybe they are higher dimension objects and we can't understand, just like 7D, 8D cinemas, which are quite complex. But whatever they are, we can do quite a lot with those knowledge already. So let's say we have a particle with 50% up and 50% down state. And this is completely random. And if we take, like let's say, a billion of those particles, and about 50% will be up and 50% will be down. And there's no way, as far as we know, which state a single particle will be in. It's completely random, as far as we know. No function, no seeds to know what, what the state will be in. The power of magic, electric fields, and smart humans, we can manipulate those probabilities of states. For example, we can make the particle 10% up and 90% down, or even 100% up and 0% down. So that will make us certain that the, uh, which state is the quantum particle. But all of this is not deterministic which leaves a room for free will. So, which is really nice. And if this particle in physics is not deterministic, then there's a chance that when we hit the restart button, some of those particles will be in the up state instead of down state, which may create big differences in our universe. Like having a donut-shaped earth. That's a bit of stretch, but yeah, you get it. Or maybe those particles can have a power over our choices, which might be the root of free will, or maybe randomness. Oh, but of course, there are big holes in my argument. So some of my shitty points are, first of all, maybe those particles are actually not random. Maybe they have a function, a seed, but it is just too complex for us to see it. And maybe, in the future, we will find that. But as far as we know, they are random, for now at least. Another big hole is that maybe quantum particles in different states won't really have an effect on anything. After all, when it is 50-50, 50% of the particles will be up and the other 50 will be down. So there won't be a big difference, even though some particles choose different states, Overall, there will be 50-50, but there is a chance that 54% of the particles ends up in up and 46% of particles ends up in down. And who knows, maybe that will create a difference. But quantum particles are like babies to atoms, so overall they don't have that much power. But on my personal experience, there are some babies that can change their parents, so let's just hope that. So, in conclusion. I don't know if we have free will. I don't really care. We don't know either. But I'm sure I feel like having one. So I might as well say I have free will. And I would like to bully hard deterministic gang. So whenever you see hard deterministics, you can tell them to go and sit on the bottle of quantum mechanics. So you can tell the hard deterministic gang to get on your level. So after all, in my argument, I have some big big holes and I am not professional in this topic after all I only took like two courses about quantum but it is a nice window to look out of so overall feeling bad is a good thing we should feel bad about our mistakes and praise others for our successes at least if we want to try being a decent human and with free will or not you're living so it's fine